Welcome back to Pearl on Doc's Bench. Today we're going to take a look at how data in an array is interpolated as a string. Now, interpolate is one of those fancy words that I'm not too fond of. First of all, because it's hard to say. But most people aren't familiar with what it means. So, not to worry. Just think of interpret. When I say interpolate, to interpret and to interpolate are the, you can think of them as the same thing. Okay? So let's take a look at some Perl script. And this one, our purpose is to demonstrate how arrays are interpolated as strings. So the first thing that we need to do is to build an array. And I've got one right here called Mac. The at sign, remember, denotes that this is an array. And so I'm going to set it up with six values. And those values are Old McDonald's Farm, Big Mac, Mackinac Bridge, Macaroni and Cheese, General Douglas MacArthur, and finally, Ronald McDonald. Moving down our listing, we come into a section of our code where we are going to print the array with string interpolation. And the line that does it is this one print, quote, our max include semicolon. Now that semicolon doesn't end the statement because it's within the quotes. Space at Mac. That's our array. And then two carriage returns with the backslash n or escape n sequence. So we'll print that out. In fact, let's see what that looks like right now. I've got my window to the terminal all set to go, and I'm telling it to run the Perl script interpolate. And this is our output right at the top of that statement. We printed the array interpolated as a string, and then the message, our max include, semicolon, and there we've got it. Old McDonald's Farm, Big Mac, Mackinac Bridge, Macaroni and Cheese, Doug, General Douglas MacArthur, and Ronald McDonald. No punctuation, no commas delimiting one Mac from another, just straight out. There's our array interpolated as a string. Now let's go back and let's take a look at printing just a single item from our array. With, of course, string interpolation. So I've got the print statement, print the last element is at Mac sub 5. Remember, in Perl, we put our subscript or our index in the straight brackets. So what did that look like when I ran the program? Well, let's pull it back up. And this is that line right there. The last array element is Ronald McDonald. We want to be careful with this interpolation of arrays, particularly when we want to print 
an email address. Okay, so in this case, I'm printing out my email address, mark.winnegar at mac.com, followed by a couple of carriage returns. And what happened? Well, let's go see. I got, but it's this line right here, Mark Winnegar, not even a space, and we go into our array interpolation. So you get the whole thing. If I wanted to print out an email address, I would need to precede the at sign with a backslash or escape. So mark.winnegar escape at mac.com prints out correctly. And there it is. So you can print out an entire array within a string literal. It will interpret or interpolate it just fine.